not to get in your pockets, but I'm trying to give some type of information. As a child actor, just like a trust fund, right? Where they kind of like make yeah. sure. Like yeah, a, certain, a certain percentage of everything you make goes into that trust fund and you don't, that, for you to have when you turn 18. Did you, so that was a few years ago. Nigga, that was a decade ago. How was that moment though? Oh, it was amazing. Oh, what? When I went, what, what? Oh man, that was amazing. And it's funny because like, obviously I had been on TV, so I had been having money, but it was different when the money was in my control and I seen the zeros and I'm like, nigga, I got money. <laughs> oh man, I was at the, the bank folks got tired of me. I'm in the bank every day withdrawing money. 10,000, give me 5,000, give me 7,500. What can I, what's my limit? To the point where my mama had to go in like, he can't take money no more unless y'all call me first and then blah, blah, blah. Like she had to go and stop for that because I was, what? I was wild. I'm buying cars just because I feel like it randomly. Drive by. Is that an SRT charger? Is that an old school 96 Camaro S? I'm buying it. I, 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 like, I like old school cars, muscle cars. Like, I don't, I don't I mean, I wasn't just running around buying Benzes, Bentley. So. Nigga, I was buying. I like the old school Tahoes. I'm buying them, sitting them on 26s. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a goddamn, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hoodlum. So I was buying all the, all the nigga cars. I'm buying all the Chargers and Dodge Magnums and Camaros and old school this and old school that. I'm just running around just blowing money, man. But it was fun. And I say it was a learning experience as well. I was going to say, looking back on that, was there like a level of regret of like, damn, I wish I would have like chilled out? At a certain point in my life, it was. But now today, it's not because through that time, like, they still like, they still reach out to me today like, bro, that summer changed my life. Like, to <laughs> see you just, 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 like, nigga, that woke up a hustle in me. Like, nigga, I got to get some money. So I can be like, nigga, when I come around, nigga, it's on me. So I can do that for my peoples and I can show that type of love. And I can go say, here, man, take the keys. Go ahead, do this. Here, do that. Yeah, we good. I got it. Don't trip. Like, so it, it, it bred a, it bred a, 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 a group of hustlers and for niggas that want to go get it on their own. So they, so they see like, bro, it's possible to go get this money. I might not go be on TV, but it's money out here for me to go get. Let me find my lane. And go get me some money so I could do what bro doing. Bro coming in, he giving back, he doing this. He like, I wasn't just blowing through. I was giving back. I was doing for people that, you know I mean, my people, making sure everybody around me looks flop. I go to the mall and, and I'm not just going to be the only nigga tearing the mall down. Nigga, tear it down and tear it down fag. When I go to the register, I'm only going once. Let's do it. Let's go. Like, you know what I mean? Nigga, we're going to all walk out here with big bags. Nigga, we're going to need a, 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 a hotel luggage cart to get out this mall. Nigga, let's do it though. Like, we all together. Like, Listen. you get a gun, you get a gun, you get a car, you get a car. Like, it was, I was, man. Daddy Warbucks. But, like, but, but at the same time, like I said, it, 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 like, to this day, niggas still was like, bro, I appreciate what you did. And that means the world to me because I gave y'all an experience and it, and it woke something up in y'all. Like, one of my partners now, he got 15 cars in his driveway right now to this day, right now, based off of what he did, based off of me showing him. Just nigga, that is money out here, and nigga, you can have your way. Nigga, I spent that was a month, a summer, the summer of my senior or the summer of my junior year leading up to my senior year of high school. So that whole summer, that's just a couple of months. But you look, you fast forward 10 years later and look how that woke up his hustle and got him. And he, he got 10 cars and he 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 detail business, this business. He ain't trying to be on TV, he ain't trying to be no rapper, but he made a way for himself. And now he's doing the same, like, nigga, yeah, I look out for my people. I do, I do this for my mama, nigga. And that's all because of what I've seen you do. That that alone is a reason why I don't regret it. That alone, like, because you get the people that come back, like, nah, bro, like, what you did, it may, it may have, it, you may have felt like it hurt you financially, but it it, it helped so many others. If I if I, I I hurt me to help a group of people, I ain't tripping about that. I will hurt little old, just me, just hurt one old me right. to help 10 or, you know what I mean, help, hurt, hurt me to help 10,000 or, you know what I mean, because who's, who's like, who we going to pass that game to and who who they going to pass that game to and who they going to, you know what I mean, like that can, that's going to live on forever, like, you know what I mean, like that, so I'm cool with that, like I, like I said, I, at one point I regretted it, like, damn, I said that blowed all this money, I did, I ran through this money, like, just doing dumb stuff, but it's like, damn, was it really that dumb? 
No, not really. At the end of the day, you had fun, you enjoyed it, you got memories that's gonna last a lifetime. You know what I'm saying? Like you can make more money, bro. You're not gonna make the memories in your teenage years again, being 18. It's like, bro, like people dream of having a, the, the 17, 18, 16 year old years that I had of just having my own money and freedom to do whatever I want and pop out, kick it, whatever party we go to, we fresh, me and my homies, we going we good. Like people dream of that. I live the I live the life people dreamed of. So how can I regret it just because I blew through the money? I can get the money back. I can't get that time back to make the memories again when you when you blew the bag that's what that's a you know phrase that people say blew the bag yeah i don't think you should definitely beat yourself up for it because honestly a lot of us have not seen wealth in our families we haven't been educated properly we you know we're being marketed to buy certain things like you said you was buying all these cars um there's things that we're trying to feel we're unhealed at times so there's a lot of factors that work against us that I can relate yeah. to, which when you're speaking Absolutely. about that, um, when you were going, when you were blowing the bag, like where were you mentally though? Like, it was just because like, nigga, I'm, I'm having this and I want the people around me to enjoy this as much as I have. It wasn't, I wasn't going through nothing. I wasn't in like a, a early midlife, not even middle of my life type crisis, but a midlife crisis. But, Nothing that, bro, I was in a healthy space in my head. Like, nigga, I was cool. I just was like, I just want to live. Like, nigga, I want to, I want to live, bro. Like, I, I want to, I want to have fun. Like, so much of my life has just been working. I've been a kid. I ain't been able to have fun with this money. Like, I'm about to have me some fun with this money, man. Like, mama got a house. She good. Mama got a car, mama got a house, mama got, you know what I mean? That's that's fine. I'm about to go have me some fun. I'm gonna do for Bobby. And whatever, and Bobby just wanna Bobby just wanna fuck up the check. That's all Bobby wanted to do at the uh, moment. I just wanna run through it. How much we talking, man? Are we over a hundred? Over five? Yeah, we over well well over a hundred. Well uh, over a hundred. Really? Not a million, but well over a hundred. Now, over over the course of my career, have I blew through a million? Yeah, probably two or three times. For sure. Without a doubt. But in that summer, probably probably a couple hundred. And now mm, you about, about one twenty five, one fifty, okay. something like that. About about one twenty five. Crazy over a, over a summer, like crazy. and it and it. But it's crazy. But when you think about it, bro, and I, I I'm literally not bullshit when I say I was going to the bank every day, ten thousand, five thousand, five. So this. Not that hard when you think about it. That take if I'm doing five, ten thousand every day, that take two weeks, and that that's a hundred twenty thousand gone. I don't even know if the whole hundred lasts me. I don't even know if I blew through it. Well, I did blow through it over the course of summer because I was pulling out money and I got ten thousand in the backpack. I got twenty thousand, and I'm just pulling out more money. Just pulling out more money just to have more money. I'm just to see how much money I can have on me at once. What do you think? Um, you know, and it's it's so unfortunate because we we hear that a lot. You know, when it comes to like, particularly like young, well, child, like young black child actors or young stars, they all kind of, no one's there to give us like that. Like, hey, invest in a 401k, do this, put your money here, you buy some stock, you know, that, and that doesn't seem exciting to us. Is it, does it, just, is it disheartening the fact that that's not kind of ingrained in our culture to like have, like, because I, I would say in, in, in my vantage point, I've definitely seen a substantial amount of, of money and then just yeah. not being ingrained enough in me to like put it here let it grow for yeah. you like it's that's not the energy that's around us from a day to day uh, you know and that's not what we're being told i mean and, it, and it's i mean it, it it goes back to like i said everything is by design bro everything is by design we be living in we they put Bentley billboards in impoverished neighborhood around people that don't even think they'll ever afford a Bentley. But they keep looking at this Bentley billboard every day. So the moment they get them some money, you're damn right they're going to go out trying to buy that damn Bentley. Yeah, I mean, like, what do you expect? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you expect? Like, what do you, like, it, ain't, it ain't all the way they fall. They doing, they going after what you putting in their face. Nobody oh. is putting stock tips and Bitcoin this, that billboards in the ghetto. It's all by design. So, like I said, I don't even hold my people accountable. We, they, we be a lot of a lot of black people are born with nothing. So the moment we get something, we want to show that we have something.